We are in Redding on the Sacramento River with fisheries biologist Dave Vogel. You've studied this river for decades. Is this a river that is very hard in terms of salmon survival? Yes, it is. Uh, there's been over a billion dollars spent on salmon restoration programs, and yet still the poor runs of salmon are at depressed levels. Uh, they face a variety of hazards. Every, everything from the beginning of their upstream migration as adults to the spawning grounds, incubation of the eggs in the gravel, rearing of the fry, and then lastly, the outmigration of the juveniles to the Pacific Ocean. There are a lot of hazards in the river that can cause mortality of the salmon. And you guys are doing various things. I say you guys, and I should say various groups, have come together to do some amazing stuff to help salmon. How many different projects have occurred on the river or are going to occur to help salmon? Uh, quite literally dozens of restoration projects have been implemented or also planned. Some of those projects include gravel. Some of those projects include lights, two things you wouldn't think about when it comes to fish. How is gravel helping fish in this river? The primary purpose behind the gravel restoration projects is to increase the quantity and quality of the salmon spawning habitat. Salmon, for people that don't know, they spawn in gravel. They need a certain environment. Is that correct? Yes, it has to be uh, a certain type of gravel and cobble. It, it has to be free of contaminants and it can't have much silt or sand. That way it allows the eggs to incubate properly. Salmon also don't like light, correct? Or they don't like light at a certain time. Talk about how reducing light on bridges has helped the salmon. It's primarily focused on the juvenile salmon life stage as the young salmon are migrating to the ocean. They generally do so under the cover of darkness. The reason for that is to escape uh, predation by predatory fish such as uh, Sacramento pike, minnow, striped bass, and rainbow trout. Now, if they encounter those lights, it's easy for the sight-seeing predators to prey on the little salmon as they migrate to the ocean. So turning out the lights or dimming the lights helps tremendously.